Hi, I'm Andrew and welcome to this, the latest in my series of videos about the IELTS exam. We are looking specifically at the IELTS spoken exam and this particular lesson is about a particular type of question that occurs in part three of the exam and I'm going to show you how you can give a sophisticated answer that will help your score for grammatical range. It will create a good impression with the examiner because you will be able to show that you understand how to use a particular construction in English that we call the second conditional in order to answer a particular type of question. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel. And if you would like a lesson with me, my contact details are available below this video. So, the type of question that we're going to look at today is what I call prediction questions. These are very common questions in part three of the exam. An example, how do you think mobile phones will change in the future? So, you could answer this question in one of two different ways. You could just use the simple future tense. For example, I think mobile phone companies will make phones with bigger screens in future. Simple future tense, but that's not really very sophisticated. And a more sophisticated answer involves using the second conditional um, construction. So, to get a good score in your IELTS speaking exam, you need to show a good grammatical range. You need to prove to the examiner that you know how to use a variety of grammatical constructions in English. The future tense in English is not considered to be a complex construction. It would be grammatically correct to use it, but the second conditional would create a better impression because it's more complex. And that's the answer to the question, why should you use the second conditional instead of only using the simple future tense to answer these prediction questions? Now, how can you use the second conditional in English? The news that is relevant for these questions, the prediction questions in the IELTS exam, is to use the second conditional to talk about something in the future which is very unlikely to happen. For example, if I won the lottery, I would buy a boat. Wouldn't we all like to buy a boat? Or, in answer to the question, how do you think mobile phones will change in the future? You could say, I don't know what mobile phone companies will do next, but if I designed mobile phones, then I'd make the keyboards bigger. So, what is the form of the second conditional in English? You should use if plus the simple past tense of the main verb in one part of a sentence and would plus the infinitive of a verb in the other part of the sentence. So, if I played football for England, I'd score a lot of goals. Played is the simple past tense of the main verb. I'd score involves using would and the infinitive of, ver of a verb in the other part of the sentence. So, I'm now going to give you three examples of how to use the second conditional to answer prediction type questions. How do you think teaching will change in the future? Uh, well, if I taught in a school, I'd expect to use a lot more technology in the future, that's for sure, as I think that's clearly the direction of travel, so I'd be making sure that I learnt everything there is to know about how computers can be used to teach young people, because I definitely think that the future of teaching will be all about technology. Another example. How do you think people's diets in your country 
will change in the future. Hmm. That's not something that I've thought about before, but I think that if I worked for a food production company, then I'd definitely be looking to tap into the booming market for vegetarian and vegan food because there's no doubt that those types of food have been getting more and more popular in England and I'd expect that trend to continue and for more and more people to become vegetarian or vegan. One final example, bit of a silly one. How do you think tourism will develop in future? Hmm. It's hard to say, really, but if I ran a travel agency, then I'd think about space. I know that seems a bit far-fetched, but then people on Earth have already been almost everywhere they could go to, or at least rich people have, and I think there's a real thirst for new experiences, and space is, as they said on Star Trek, the final frontier. So let's look very quickly at how we use the second conditional in all three of these answers. In this one, if I ran a travel agency, then I'd think about space. Second conditional. In this one, if I worked for a food production company, then I'd definitely be looking to tap into the booming market for vegetarian and vegan food, etc. Second conditional. In this one about teaching, if I taught in a school, I'd expect to use a lot more technology in the future. Second condition. Okay, so if you would like a lesson with me, you can see my contact details here, my email, my Facebook details, and a reminder that if you found this lesson useful, please subscribe on this channel. Now, next lesson will be here about the third conditional uh, in the third part of the IELTS exam. The next lesson here on this channel where I will show you how you can use third conditional sentences to answer questions that ask you about how things have changed recently. So that will be the next lesson. So look out for that and I'll see you then. Thank you and goodbye.